another night and another unboxing well this one is snotty an off-grid inverter with AC charger so its specs is this one is 3 kilowatt 220 VAC 60 Hertz 24 volts system it's weigh, it weighs 22 kilograms so it's a bit heavy and this one will be ruffled for free in time for Christmas so this has been in my stock room for I think more than a year uh, it's just been uh, tested so I'm planning to unbox this and give it away so let's check what's in store for the lucky winner in case who wins and we're going to unbox and dissect what's in store for us for this type of off-grid inverter with AC charger and I have a solace well let's see what will happen in the coming months I'm not using it also okay let's open this up so still in plastic you have the so you have the manual the application uh, you need this if you want to check your inverter's performance because this one has a serial cable so you need an RS-232 to be able to access install this in your uh, laptop PC and you can check your uh, off-grid inverters performance and a simple manual so that's what's inside and let's try to open this on this side let's see side you have your EC input it's a really grid input and your output so there's a huge fan so caution air cooling system do not block the vents and fans so I think this is out this is out and you have your circuit breaker uh, and on the other side So I do hope whoever got this inverter can make use of of this hardware because I'm not using this anymore. So you have the intake. This is where you place your uh, RS4 uh, RS232 this is the serial so you get your grounding so you have to earth this and I'll add this with a filter negative positive battery so it says it says here is 24 volt system A bit heavy it's 22 kilos so instructions so a pure sine wave inverter 
So the simple instructions in here, if you want to what type of function do you want? It has its bypass. It has a UPS mode. So whatever you want. Uh, this one I think has two, only two functions. Bypass and at the same time uh, power to the grid using your battery. So this is uh, entirely pure off-grid with uh, AC charger. So you see it can charge your battery. If you don't have a uh, solar panel yet, so this will act as a UPS. Well, majority or all of the inverters when it comes to off-grid, they are uh, UPS. They're a huge UPS in that sense. So let's open this up. Like what we did on the other inverters, we shall also dissect what's inside for us and check its construction. Let's snap this out and let's have a reveal. Okay. Let's take a closer look. Snaddy has huge toroid. So as you can see, it's huge also. Uh, only single bolt not on bolt is holding this so i would suggest to install this on a horizontal plane like this uh, because the center of gravity is much more uh, in this point if you're going to mount this on the other side so uh, you, you must put an, an another i guess structure uh, to hold in place so what we Seen on the other side are the breakers. We have a in here. Uh, this is a relay, a huge uh, resistor, another relay, three of them, or oh, four, I think. So this is the fourth. And on the sides, as you can see, uh, it's their power transistor. It's how they power this up. So, how many? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And let's check the center of which is the huge heatsink. So, same thing. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. It's also 10. Large cable coming from the toroid core. See? The construction is pretty simple so because this is just a off-grid pure off-grid you can see a large capacitor inside so that means to say uh, airflow is going in so I already provided the filter this will blow in and dissipate the heat coming from your uh, aluminum heatsink in here and then goes out to your toroid and this one is the exhaust yeah. exhaust side so this is I think it's two and a half inch uh, blower fan and this one is actually more than five is bigger uh, as you can see uh, the model is also on the outside sticker you have a simple LCD so this is it this is what you see on what's inside of your snaddy and whoever wins will be of use of this uh, inverter that's all for now bye and thumbs up